everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I have not been here in a while, I think a couple months, but I'm back <laughs> and I have a plan with me for you guys today. This was filmed in December and I am posting it in February because that's just where we are in life right now and that's okay. So let's just get into it. The kit is called Bear Cozy. And I do PR for Paper Muse Crafts, so you can use my code, which is TEAMJC15, so T-E-A-M-J-C-1-5, for 15% off of your order. And you can also mention my name, JC, in the notes to seller to get my freebie, which I showed at the beginning of this. Um, my freebie is really fun. It's on white premium matte sticker paper, and it has... I think four or five icons that I chose that I love. And I actually use quite a few of the icons in this spread. You'll see later on. And then it also has these very cute little boxes that have like a scalloped corner. And it's the box version of Brit's freebie. Brit has the rectangle version. So use Brit's freebie or mention Brit's name in the notes of seller if you want to get her freebie. Mine has the boxes. So Anyways, you will see more of my freebie later on. All right, so let's get into this. Um, I'm doing some date cover deco right here. I'm trying to incorporate a lot of outside elements, meaning like non-florals. So I picked out some snowflakes to use because this was a December kit, so very wintry themed. And I also used the little snowflake half divider I'm putting down right now. That is from Sadie Stickers. And I just love that it's transparent matte because it, I just, I love transparent matte. Like if all shops switched to transparent matte, I would not be mad. I would be very, very happy, especially if Honey Ink switched. That would be amazing. I know that it's going to take a while for some shops to go through their like regular clear uh, sticker paper. So I don't like expect everyone to switch soon. But I will say that I feel like the entire community wants everyone to switch to transparent matte. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anyone out there that likes clear uh, sticker paper over the transparent clear. Um, let me know because I actually don't know anyone who prefers it that way. I think most people prefer it transparent matte. But anyways, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Um, anyways, so I was using lots and lots of Crafts by Towie icons throughout this spread. I mean, not just in the spread, like for the use of icons, you know how we usually use them, but as like decorative things. So as you can see up on top of my Wednesday date cover, I used a Crafts by Towie giant ornament icon. And I'm, honestly, I'm really glad that I used it that way because I feel like it's kind of big for an ornament, so I'm not sure how I would use it otherwise. So I'm glad that I'm finding some use out of it for, you know, elsewhere, like on top of the date covers. And then I'm just foiling everything up with um, tiny little foiled uh, snowflake clusters. I think that's what they're called. They're from Sadie Stickers. Again, transparent matte. Love it. I'm also using lots of honey inked here. And honestly, honey inks kiss uh kiss cut lines like her cut lines how close they are to the foil are so darn close that you really can just get away with not using transparent matte with her although it, it would be nice and like cohesive with the spread if she offered some stuff in transparent matte but i'm not complaining i feel like her cut lines are so close that it's not that big of a deal like it's not as noticeable as some other clear sticker paper stuff. Alrighty, so I'm just cutting up lots and lots of florals here. Another Crafts by Towie icon right there with the little presents. And then I'm going to go ahead and add those Sadie Stickers dividers over top all my date covers. While I'm doing that, we can catch up on what I've missed in the community. So um, I'm actually curious if anyone wants to just comment down below if there's been any new trends in the past two months, um, specifically like end of December, all of January. And I mean, I've, I've been pretty caught up this like first week of February, but let me know if I've missed any major stuff, new trends, new releases that you guys are loving. Um, for those of you that are, you know, keeping up with the community, let me know if I've missed anything major. 
Um, or if, you know, things are still the same. I feel like, what have I seen in the past week that feels new to me? Um, honestly, I think the newest thing that I saw was Tay of Shantae Plans. She put her date covers on the bottom, like the bottom of the column. That was interesting. I like that. Other than that, I feel like it's just a bunch of um, date cover deco and (sighs) yeah, that's all I can think of right now. I have seen a couple more people do hole punch deco, which is something that I hadn't seen anyone do before myself. So that's fun. I really liked seeing that. I've also gotten quite a few people tagging me in their stories or in their posts saying that they're trying it out and that they were inspired by me. So that's, that's really, really nice to see. And very, um, I feel very like warm and fuzzy inside when I get those kinds of tags. If you guys are ever inspired by me, which still is, um, a little shocking for me, like a little hard for me to understand, honestly, but if you are definitely tag me, definitely show me because it really warms my heart. I feel like I am still learning and being inspired by everyone in the community. I just can't possibly comprehend that people feel that way towards me, but you know, it's everyone bounces ideas off of each other in this community. So I believe it, but it's still kind of like hard for me to like fully grasp. Um, but yeah, anyways, leave some, leave some stuff down in the comments. I also have another question for you guys. What is a trend prediction that you have for this year? Um, it could be, you know, every shop switching to transparent matte instead of clear, which that's my prediction by the way. Um, or it could be like maybe floral deco goes out of style, which I, I doubt, I don't know. Just give me some predictions down below. Is there anything that you guys are, Ooh, or something that you're really hoping for? Maybe it's like, you don't think it's going to happen. Like it's not really a prediction. It's just something that you really want to happen. Um, leave that down in the comments below. Oh, and then another thing, leave in the comments below a trend or something that you wish to go away. Like you're like, I'm done with this. I don't want to see this anymore. And I want it to be gone. Um, for me, if I were to answer those questions, I guess going off the transparent, uh, sticker paper thing, I would say I would like for clear glossy sticker paper to be gone because like I said, for me personally, I just don't use it. I film everything that I make and I photograph everything that I make and transparent matte just makes everything easier for me. So I, I say be gone to clear glossy sticker paper. Another trend I've been seeing, and honestly, it's less of a trend and more of like a conversation is I've been hearing that bows are coming back or like the use of bows is coming back which for me I don't really understand fully because I've only been in this community for I think a year and a half now less than two years for sure and so bows have always been a thing for me I use them like in every single spread I I use bows to like foil my icons um, to just like add a little flourish here and there so I've never really seen it as something that has been trendy or gone away if that makes sense but i've been seeing like a lot of stories recently of people saying like bows are coming back i just i don't know if i've ever experienced bows being gone or at least in my planning style personally because i've just always used them but let me know if that you know if you guys have heard anything about that because i'd like to know are bows like coming back or were they ever gone? I don't know. (laughs) Um, so that's, that's everything as far as trends go. Um, let's just, let's talk about the spread now. So I up here used two hearts from the kit, which I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I'm actually very proud of myself, um, for coming up with this because I would have never used those hearts, honestly, like unless this was a Valentine's day kit or went on a date night or something, or had like a reason to use a heart within the day-to-day part of the spread, I don't think I would have grabbed them. So I'm happy that I, I think it was either plan with Sherry Ann or Rachel who I saw layer like two shapes. I don't even know if they were the same shapes. It was just like shapes in general. Someone was layering them in their month section. And I was like, oh, that's, that's really smart. I like that. Let me think about how I can layer two things together. 
Um, so I just like looked through the kit and saw the two hearts and I was like, yep, this is, this is it because I'm not going to use these hearts within the spread. So anyways, um, over here I'm using a hanging sign from Sadie stickers and Tay of Shantae plans. And then I'm doing something on top of the chains that Rachel did. Rachel of Monk and Marple, if you're not already following her on Instagram and YouTube, definitely go do that. But I saw her do this um, in one of her plan with me's and I thought it was just absolutely genius. Basically, she took some chain foil. I think she probably used the same one as I did, which was the Bloom Paper Studio chain divider. And then just cut it so that it fit on top of the chains in the hanging sign. And then you've got like a foiled chain for your hanging sign. Very cute, very creative. Um, so yeah, moving on, I just put a little hello December script there because this is the first week of December. So I thought it would be cute to mark that. And then down here, honestly, I'm really not happy with the way that this area turned out. If I'm being honest, I've been really struggling with this area. I think I talked about it in like the past few plan with me videos that I've done, but I've been trying to do like a decorative area down here where I just take some foiled elements and some clip art from the kit and I just kind of make a scene but I'm just not digging it I just it just I don't know I think it's just too much of an open concept for me as far as like the amount of creativity required to do it I know that sounds very strange but I yeah I just I'm not happy with the way that it came out and I think it's because I'm just trying to fill the space and this is what I've been trying to do the past couple of weeks and I'm not happy with it. I think I need to repurpose this area to be something more functional for me. So the ideas that I've come up with so far is just do the weekly um, highlight tracker that I had been doing in the past or create a scene for a specific day or a specific event that happened this week that I really enjoyed. So like instead of a highlights week, like a week of highlights, maybe I do a favorite highlight of the week. Does that make sense? Let me know. I'm probably not explaining that well, but I don't know. It just kind of looks, I don't like it. It just looks too busy and I don't know. I'm not a fan. So let me know if you guys have any ideas for how to use that area. Um, I will say that Cassie has been extremely inspiring recently as far as her sidebars. I don't know how she does it, honestly, like how she comes up with these things. Actually, I don't know how anyone in the planning community comes up with anything new because you'd think that we'd run out of ideas and they just keep getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> I digress. Anyways, Cassie's sidebars are amazing. I would like to try recreating some of her sidebars, but honestly, I truly don't know how she does it. Like I need to watch her plan with me's and watch her like videos over again because I don't know how she does it. And by the way, Cassie is Sweet Like Honey Plans on Instagram and YouTube, and I highly suggest following her. Okay, let's get into the actual day by day. Like I said, this was filmed in December. Actually, I finished it recently, like I finished the second half of it. You'll see my nail color will change, but this was the first week of December, technically like the end of the last week of November, which is why there's a November script up there. But anyways, um, getting too technical there. This is the week that Tyler first got sick. We ended up both having COVID the following week. However, I don't know for sure if he had COVID this week because the day that he gets sick, which I believe is the first, December 1st, um, and we'll see when we go into the day by day, but the day that he got sick... I had him take a COVID test and I had him take one on the first, the second, the third, the, f I mean, like I just kept having him take COVID tests. We had tons at the house and he ended up not having a fever after either one day or two days. Like he had a fever for maybe 24 or 48 hours and then no fever. And I still had him testing after that. And every single test came back negative, but then he tested positive on the, I think it was the 7th. Yeah. The 7th of December. So it was just so strange because he was definitely sick, you know, very much fever symptoms, COVID symptoms. Right. But then negative tests. So 
we didn't think it was. I mean, I tested him so many times that I was sure of it. And I tested myself as well because he wasn't feeling well. And we isolated until his fever was gone. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'll get into that like later on in the spread. So moving on, we're going to start with Monday. I'm very happy with the way that my white deer stationary sticker, the T sticker matched the greens in the kit. I don't know if you can tell, but the sticker is kind of like a bluish green and it almost perfectly matches the teals in this kit. And it made me very happy. Also, the colors in this kit are just I just love them. They're just so cozy and fun and like kind of pastel-y, but at the same time, very wintry. I don't know. I like it. And I like that it's rose gold. I feel like that's very non-traditional December vibes. So anyways, moving on, um, I used a work script from Paper Trail Plans. By the way, most of the icon stickers are going to be white stationary. And if they're foiled, they're probably Crafts by Towie or Paper Muse Crafts. So I'll show you the sticker sheets anyways, but just a heads up, pretty much everything is White Deer Stationery, Crafts by Towie, and Paper Muse Crafts. Um, and then the scripts, I used all Paper Trail Plans scripts in this spread. I really, really like the cohesiveness of using the same script in the spread. It's very satisfying. Okay, then I marked that I walked to the mailbox this day, which I know it's not that far. I don't know where your guys' mailboxes are, but mine is not that far, but I just wanted to mark it because I had been really, really trying to keep up with my walking this week. So even a walk to the mailbox was something that I wrote down. I was like, you know, it's a walk. I went outside. It's good. Okay, so moving on to Tuesday, I worked in the morning and then I used two white deer stationary icons to mark that I had tea and listened to a podcast that has been like my regular morning thing recently is that while I'm working and while I'm on the computer, I throw in a podcast, I make a cup of tea and I just do my mundane work tasks while listening to a podcast and drinking my tea. And I thought that layering those two icon stickers was um, very fun versus like marking them as two separate events because they realistically happen together. Okay. So then after work, I went to lunch with a friend. I ended up switching out the icon for this one, which is the paper muse crafts one, just because I had been using a lot of white deer stationery already. And so I wanted to have some more foil elements here. Also, I will note that I love this box, this non-traditional sized box. It does not take up the full width of the column, as you can see. And I think that it is so, so nice. I feel like Two Little Bees was the first one, for me at least, that I noticed um, to include a lot of these very regularly um, in her kits and in her add-ons. And I'm very happy to start seeing these types of boxes that don't fit the width of the column in a lot of other shops. But I wish that they were offered more than the like regular boxes. Does that make sense? Like I wish there was 10 of them and not two or three because honestly, I think that it looks nicer than the boxes that go to the edges of the column. I don't know why. I just feel like it's more room for decorations, more room for foil, all that good stuff. So yeah. Anyways, after that, I had to make a payment um, for a wedding item. We're getting married in Italy this year, so whenever I do wedding stuff, it's always at night so that I can be on the same time zone as my wedding planner, but yeah, lots of um, lots of wedding stuff is going to be coming up because we're getting close. We're like a few months, I think six months away now, so it's just all the final details, final touches, you know, the final halves of the down payments and all that stuff, so you'll probably see more of that in my spreads coming up. Okay, so moving on to Wednesday, I used a paper trail plans script that says hello December. It's so cute, matches so nicely. And I thought that it looked especially cute over the hanging sign. I feel like the hanging signs, I'm just getting so much use out of them and so much use out of the colors. I did not think I was going to use the most, but here I am using brown like I don't know, what is it, three weeks in a row now? Um, but the brown matched pretty darn closely to the kit and it was very cute. So anyways, moving on, the next thing I did this day was laundry. This was one of those big laundry days, you know what I mean? That spills over into the next day because you waited so long. You have like 
towels. And then I decided, oh, you know what? All the bath mats in the entire house need to be washed. Oh, and all the blankets. Yeah, they need to be washed too. Like the, you know, blankets that go on top of the couches and stuff. We should just wash everything. And then I was like, oh wait, I forgot. I have my clothing as well. (laughs) So it was a whole thing and it definitely spilled over into the next day. Um, Wednesdays are big reset days for me because that's when I have the cleaners come. They come every other Wednesday to our house and I usually take that time to continue doing laundry and pick up the house, do any organizing. It's kind of like my Sunday of my week. Um, That's Wednesday for me. And it's every other Wednesday that's like this, but that's why I also went to Whole Foods that day. And then I also got a car wash. So yeah, like I said, big errands day. Um, And here I'm using an icon from my freebie with Paper Muse Crafts. This is such a cute little cleaning icon. I spray bottle spray bottle yes this is a very cute like spray bottle and I used it to mark that the cleaners came I realistically should have like moved that up because it happened earlier in the day but I'm not really too much of a stickler on that honestly let me know in the comments down below I know some people are like if something happened in the middle of the day they put that in the middle of the day and if something happened at night they put that at night I'm really not that like much of a stickler on it But let me know in the comments down below if you are. I think for when it comes to things like dinner, that will definitely go at the bottom. But other than that, I really don't care. You know, it it all happened in in the same day. So unless it's like obviously at night, then I don't I don't really care. I don't know why it doesn't bother me, but it doesn't. Okay, moving on to Thursday. Funnily enough, is that a word? Funnily? Funny enough. (laughs) That's totally not a word. Uh, anyways, I had a doctor appointment and Tyler got sick. I just thought that was really funny. Like the irony of me going to the doctor and coming home to a sick husband. (laughs) Uh, okay. So I used a very cute, um, Crafts by Towie sick sticker for that. It's the little tissue with the tea mug, which is just so adorable. I feel like it's too cute. It, it just marks such a not fun thing, but it's so cute that it almost makes it fun to mark, if that makes sense. Um, okay, then later this night, after continuing laundry, as you can see, I went on IG Live with Tay of Shantae Plans. If you want to watch that live, it is in her IG TV archives or whatever you call that section on Instagram. Just go to Tay's Instagram, go to IGTV there you can find the live that we did together. That was so much fun. It was my first time going live with Tay and we had so much fun. I feel like we were laughing a lot and I didn't get much done, but you know that that's just because you had a good time and it it was just really fun. I think I should go live on Instagram more. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys watch Instagram lives because I try to catch all of them, especially when like Tay, Lauren, and Rachel are going live together. Those are always so funny. Um, But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys like Instagram lives? Do you want more of them? Let me know. Okay, here I am making my own um, non-traditional box here. I just cut out the middle. I think I saw someone do this. Maybe it was Cassie. Possibly. Probably. She's so innovative. And, um, I just made my own little third box or quarter box that did not fit the width of the column just because I feel like I wanted it to match that box on Thursday. Obviously it's like a different, um, length or height, I mean, and I just wanted it to match. So yeah. Another thing is I felt like the fact that I had a full box right below it and the full box meets up with the width of the column. I don't know why. I don't know. I I don't really know how to justify it. I just felt like it looked good. So that's why I did it. (laughs) Okay, moving on. So I had Starbucks and then I went to Target. And let me tell you, it's very, very satisfying combo to grab a Starbucks and then go to Target and do a Target run. It's probably the most stereotypical white girl thing that you see on, I don't know, any social media. It's like, oh, white girl things, you know, grab a Starbucks and then go to Target. But you know what? It's nice and it's fun and it's satisfying and I will leave it at that. (laughs) Okay, moving on to the rest of Thursday. um, Tyler and I had like a big playtime sesh with the cats. I mean, we play with the cats every day, but when I mark it, it's because 
we just did like a, a, a big sesh, you know, where we just played with them for like, I don't know, an hour or, or we got a new toy, I think probably at Target. And that's why I marked that. We pretty much get a new cat toy every time we go to Target. Um, no shame. It's usually something small, but yeah, I, I can't deny that. But we recently donated a bunch of cat toys probably a week ago. Maybe it'll come up in a future plan with me if I get that far, <laughs> but we did a huge donation and I didn't realize that we had that many unused cat toys. So I'm glad that they went somewhere if they weren't going to our cats. And then we ended off Friday night by playing gin rummy. We did lots of gin rummy this week. I think I talked about this in like a previous plan with me that we played gin rummy. I don't know, every other day, at least like we love it during meals and that kind of stuff. But I just, I never mark it. And I just feel like I should mark it more because it's such a fun thing that Tyler and I do together. And I want to remember it when I go and look through my spreads. Okay. Moving on to Saturday, I marked work with this very cute white deer stationary laptop and I put a little bow in it. And if you didn't see, um, she just released the same laptop, but flipped so that you can use it on the other side and it faces to the left instead of right now it's facing to the right. And I'm very happy that she released that. I bought some immediately. Also, I have a code for white deer stationery. If you've never shopped with them before, you can save 15%. And other than that, she does releases every now and then. And when she does releases, she does like 20% off. I think it's 20. It's either 15 or 20% off, which is so good. So, so good. So definitely take advantage of that. Follow her on Instagram if you're not already. All of my codes are linked down below. I feel like this goes without saying, but if you're new here, all of the codes that I have with all of the shops I PR for are linked down below. Okay, moving on to the rest of Saturday. I did gift wrapping this day and then we shot our Christmas card. This day it was so much fun. Um, my friend's a boyfriend's assistant of that's that's a long spiel a friend of a friend is a photographer and he was able to shoot our christmas card for us which is so much fun and this is our first time that we've ever done like a formal christmas card where we like get the photos taken you know not take them ourselves but like actually get them taken of us and then make christmas cards out of them and send them out this is the first year that we've done this and let me tell you the cats were much more cooperative than i expected them to be i was shocked. Maybe I'll insert a photo here. Okay. Reminder, JC, insert a photo here for everyone to see. Um, but then the rest of Saturday, we, um, went to this Christmas event. It was, I don't really know how to explain it, but we went with a couple friends and they, um, we like got dinner and then went to this Christmas event and it, I don't really know how to explain it other than it's kind of like a Christmas market, but it's also a maze of lights yeah, I don't, there's no, like, there's no like name of it that could do it justice, but it's just like a really big Christmas event. And at this point, Tyler had been without a fever for over 24 or 48 hours at this point. So we deemed it okay for us to go. We also told our friends that we were going with that, hey, um, you know, he was sick the other day. We took COVID tests and we've been taking COVID tests and they've come back negative. Do you still want to go out tonight? Um, of course, we'll wear masks and everything. And we ended up doing it. And you know what? Even though Tyler ended up testing positive on the 7th, no one got sick. Like as soon as he tested positive, I immediately texted these people. And I was like, hey, uh, turns out he has COVID. It might have been COVID the whole time. We don't know because the test came back negative and he didn't have a fever. But, you know, you, sh you guys should go get tested. They got tested the day that I told them and the end of that week and still negative. So I don't think, I don't know. I still don't know. I don't know to this day, like if he had it or not during the first, but all I know is that he was sick on the first and sick on the seventh and he was only positive on the seventh. But anyways, let me know if you guys have had any experiences like that with COVID. It's such a weird freaking thing, <laughs> such a weird sickness. Um, moving on. Let's move on to Sunday. So this morning I edited a plan with me and I listened to, um, my body, um, which is a book by Emily Ratatowski. And I finished it this day. I was listening to it like on audiobooks, And while I was editing, first of all, editing and listening to a book, you got to do it. It's very nice. And I finished it. It was such a good book. 
and we had Subway for dinner that night and I went to bed early. But yeah, that's the end of um, my week this week. But yeah, just to touch more on the book that I finished, it was so, so good. I think that Tay also posted about this book on her stories and I think she said she was really liking it. I need to follow up with her if she finished it. I'm sure she did because it was a while ago. But if you guys are looking for, it's more of um, a collection of essays and it's more like a story of her life or mm, I should probably say individual stories of her life strung together at like different points in her life. Um, And if you don't know who she is, she's a model. She has been like in the industry since she was, I don't know, 12 or 13 years old, very, very young. And she just wrote a book on her life and how modeling has affected her and how it's helped her in so many ways, but also she struggles with her, you know, identity and that kind of, it's just, it's really good. You you just got to read it. If you know who she is, you probably already know about the book and have maybe seen about it or heard about it or something. But if you don't, it's really good. Just trust me. Anyways, um, what I just did there was if you haven't been my past, past couple of plan with me's, I'm adding all of my leftover stickers to a sticker book inspired by Lauren of plan wish plan. And I'm going to give it away at the end because I just, won't use the stickers, so why not give it away? Um, and then here is the final spread. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Again, I flip and love this kit. This was such a pretty non-traditional winter kit, and I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're not done here, I will leave you two more videos. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.